Na nitatamani uweze kunifata kwa makini. And I would love for you to listen to me carefully. Somo hii ina ikwentitile kama hivi as kufunguliwa kutoka umasikini. To be delivered from poverty. La deliverance de la pauvreté. Deliverance of the poverty. The deliverance from poverty. Wapendwa katika Bwana somo hili ninalipenda nilipokuwa nikikaa mbele za Mungu. When I was sitting before God. Usiku wa leo alikuwa akinifungulia mambo mengi sana. He was revealing me a lot of things. Wapendwa umasikini. Beloved poverty. Sio jambo nzuri. It's not a good thing. Kama kuna jambo ambao unaweza kupigana nao. something that you can fight with. Sawa sawa na vile unavyopigana na zambi. As you are fighting you to, to sin. Pigana na umasikini. Fight with poverty. Kama vile unapigana kuanguka ndani ya washirati. As you fight from going to Unajitetea kwa njia zote usianguke. You you try your best to not fall. Pigana hivyo hivyo na umasikini. Fight the same fight with the poverty. Unajua you know wakati wa koloni walipokuja katika inji ama eh, bah, bara la Afrika when the colonists came to Africa walikuja wameshindikizwa na dini mbalimbali they were they were accompanied with other dini other, dini with, religion with religion na katika zile dini walikuwa wakiambia wa Afrika. And in those two religion they were chasing Africa. Mshairi wao ambao walisimama nao kabisa the the, firm, the the affirmation that they stood with ilikuwa heri maskini wa roho kwa sababu watariti nje. Heri maskini wa roho. Blessed are the poor in the spirit. Wakati walipokuja na hiyo mafundisho ya heri masikini wa roho. They came with that teaching that says blessed are the, the poor in the spirit. Mababu zetu walipana udongo zao. Our grandparents they gave their land. Wakapana zahabu wakasema sisi tunataka ufalme ule wa mbinguni tuko tayari kupoteza yote. We want the kingdom of God we are ready to give it all. Na hapo walikuja na mafundisho. And they came with the teachings. Kuna ule rais wa Kenya ambaye anaitwa Kenyatta. There's a president of Kenya named Kenyatta. Anasema wakati he said, wa, wa, walipo wa koloni walipokuja Afrika. When the colonies came to Africa. Walitufundisha kufunga macho tukiomba. To close our eyes while we pray. Tulipofungua macho yetu. When we open our eyes. Inji yetu ilikuwa imeenda. Our country has been taken away from us. Mimi sijawahi ona hata mshairi mahali wanasema funga macho wakati tunaomba. I have never seen where they say you should close your eyes while you pray. Lakini tunafunga macho kwa sababu But we close our eyes because tuepuke distraction lakini hakuna so mshairi ambaye anasema so funga macho. Sasa kama nimefungua macho no usinilaumu kwa sababu hakuna mshairi ambaye ameniomba nifunge macho. So if you pray and you see me my eyes are open don't question me. Lakini nayafunga ili akili zangu ziwe mbele za Bwana lakini so sio sheria. My brain can be before God. Okay, siku ya leo nataka tuzunguze juu ya jambo la kukombolewa ama kufunguliwa toka umasikini. From poverty. Mpendwa katika Bwana umasikini Loving kama vile nimesema. Poverty like I said. Ni jambo mbaya. Umasikini ni nini? Very bad thing. What is poverty? Umasikini ni hali ya kujito, ya kujitosheleza. It's a way of a sufficiency sufficient and sufficient bwana asifiwe praise the lord mkalimani wangu ni mungu akutie nguvu hallelujah amen umasikini ni hiyo hali yenye haujitosheleze poverty is the way of un being feeling and fish and fish yani mtu ambaye anaitwa masikini Poor. Ni mtu yule ambaye hawezi hajitosheleze the person that's insufficient Yaani ukifika mwisho wa mwezi when you get to the end of the month utaona kila kitu unashindwa hata kuweka dola moja you don't even have a dollar yaani hauwezi uweza kuepargne hata dola moja teach you can't even keep one thing Iyo you cannot save ni umasikini that is poverty unaweza kuwa hapa mandekani you might be here in america lakini uko masikini but you are poor 
Unajua kuna wengi walipokuja Marekani. Walikuwa na maproje anasema kwa miezi sita nitakuwa nimejenga nyumba mbili. Nitakuwa nina nimenunua gari ile. I'll have a car. I'll have four cars. Walipofika huko wakaona mambo ni mengine sana. Yaani kama kuna kama kuna mafundisho maskini mwingine anaweza niuliza hii mafundisho hatuhitaji Marekani Hata ni kuambia tunahitaji mafundisho haya kwa sababu wengi wanaendelea kuwa maskini ijapo tumefika Marekani Na acha ni kuambia tena Umasikini poverty ni roho is a spirit There is a spirit of poverty. Huko esprit au maskini. Na ile roho ya umaskini ikiendana na maisha yako. Poverty who if he follows your life. Utaishi hapo Marekani. You will live in America. Utafika uzee wako. You will be old. Na tutafanya cotisation juu ya mazishi yako. And we will gather money for your barrier. Mpendo katika Bwana kama Beloved in the Lord, kama kuna kitu nimekemea anything I have rebuked ni siku nitaenda is the day I watu waanze kukaa wafanye cotization nimekataa hiyo roho na wewe sema naikataa I feel that spirit Lazima ukifika siku ya mwisho wa safari yako una sufficient you yani uko na unajitosheleza na kuna hata kitu ambayo umeacha kwa sababu ya maandalizi there is something that you have left behind you wapenda ninaposema umaskini ni roho nifuate vizuri hapo niko na introduction ya mafundisho yangu i mean in the introduction of my teachings unajua ulimwengu huu ambao tunaishi this world that we live in ni ulimwengu inaonekana le monde physique is a war is a world is a physical world ambayo inaonekana that is shown unaweza kuguza hiki you could touch this unaweza kuguza hii unaweza kuona vitu ambavyo tunaona hapa see things that we see here lakini hapa juu yetu but above us kuna ingine ulimwengu there's another world ulimwengu wa kiroho a spiritual world na ile ulimwengu wa kiroho that spiritual world ni katika ulimwengu ile ndio kunafanyika mazishi in the world that is where all decision takes place kama maisha yako imefungwa is, is ndani ya ulimwengu wa roho in the spiritual world hauwezi kufaulu katika hii dunia you can never succeed in your physical world je tuko pamoja nifuate hapo vizuri this is me carefully maisha yako ikifungwa ndani ya ulimwengu wa roho if your your life is being locked in the spirit hapa duniani here on, on earth hautaweza kufaulu you will never succeed ma accidents zingine zenye mnaonaka hapa accident that you see here inakuwa kaisha kuwa decide ndani ya ulimwengu wa has been destined in the spiritual world unasikia tu mtu anakuwa ameenda you look so you see somebody they, they had a death mbona, mbona wengine wanakuaga wanasimama lakini kwa nini huyu alikuwa anakaenda kwa sababu kuna vitu ambavyo vilikuwa decide that have been decided ndani ya ulimwengu wa roho na ninafanya kwamba wengi wajipate maisha yao inaenda chini their life is going below down kama uwezi kukontrole if you can't control ulimwengu wako wa rohoni your spiritual world hapa duniani here on earth hakuna mahali unaenda there's nowhere you go utaishi marekani you live in america wakati wengine wako na cheka wewe unaendelea kulia mwa hii america continue to, to cry in this america america hii this america inaweza kukugeukea kuwa uchungu can become pain kama hausugulikie ulimwengu wako wa roho take care of your spiritual world katika ulimwengu wa roho kuna ma realities nyingi sana of realities ukisoma ndani ya kitabu kia kutoka when you read in kutoka exodus when you read in exodus kutoka 17 verse yake ya 11 exodus chapter 17 verse 21 inasema hivi it says musa alipoinua mikono yake When Moses kwa sababu ya muda wakati Musa alipoinua mikono unaweza When Moses unaweza kusoma kwa sababu naweza unasoma hapo nikusaidie Exodus chapter 17 verse 11 It says but select capable men from all the people men who fear God trustworthy men who hate dishonest gain and appoint them as 11 
17, 11. Praise God. Amen. The word of God says, as long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amal 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 Amalekites were winning. When what? Moses, when Moses okay. hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Okay. You can stop there. Amen. When Moses held his hands, Israelis were in the in the war with Joshua. They were in a physical physical world. They were fighting in, in the world. But Moses, when he was on the mountain, when he raises his hands, Joshua Joshua succeeded the war in the physical, physical world. But when he lowered his hands, Joshua started failing. The, the, the success of Joshua depended on what was happening in the spiritual world. If you don't have success in the spiritual world, you will not have success in the physical world. If you haven't, if you haven't built your house in the spiritual world, you will never build a house in the physical world. That is why Congolese or Africans when we come general abroad, Africa, when we see other people in Africa, Africa when we were in Africa we knew how to clean our spirit we were prayer, prayer we were fasting but remember when was the last time you fasted ever since you got in America Maybe you only fasted three times. Maybe you haven't been fasted at all. I thank God for the person who came to give the That they were in a in a in a prayer prayer of three days. Remember when was the, the time you were in the in those three days prayer? I know it's a lot of food in America. Lakini, but if you chakula, continue to take care of that you're just eating and eating you're going to wake up your life is low kuamba, remember that Jacob, eh, Esau Esau alipoteza uzaliwa waki wakwanza kwa sababu ya chakula he lost his first birth right because of food this food can make you lose your first right birth. This food can make you lose your inheritance. This can make you lose your blessings. Let us learn to go back. The, the, the power that brought us to America. We need this power to take us farther in America. If I was you, I was going to say amen. So, your life, kama if it's locked in the poverty, yani kuna in the spiritual world when they close your, your, your life into poverty here on earth you may do anything and you will never succeed let me, let me give you a testimony it's a testimony of my family family yangu. my family hapo awali, hapo Be, uh, before Ilikuwa na utajiri wa kupindukia. They had Yaani utajiri yaani napita. They were very rich they were wealthy. Na wakati mimi nasema utajiri wa kupindukia watu ambao wameishi wameishi upande wa Butembo. Who lived in Butembo? Wanaweza kuwa washuhuda wangu kwa sababu hii ushuhuda sasa kwa sababu nataka kuwapendeza. Wao wenyewe ni washuhuda. Themselves their testimony. Kwa sababu jina ya baba yangu sio ndogo katika hiyo muda. Because the name of my father is not small in that. Jamaa hii ilikuwa na hesabia karibu 3 million dollars. Was counting about 3 million dollars. 
When I was born, we used to count millions, millions. Not thousand millions. See, my friend. Not friends. Dollars. Dollars. Jamaili endelea vizuri baba alikuwa anafanya kazi alikuwa na kampuni watu walikuwa na mke vile watu wanamkea makampuni wanakuja ndio kwa kazi companies they come to our jobs lakini ilifika wakati mmoja it came to a time where baba yangu akafuatilia udongo ya baba yake my father followed the followed up with the the land of his father ilikuwa ya mababu zake wa grape was from his great grand great grand father so wazee wakamwambia ili hii udongo tujue ni yako the elders told him for you to get his land inabidi utoe kukue sadaka itatolewa there must be an offering that, 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 that must be given you gonna you gonna utachinja kuchinja kuko kwa ujue <laughs> You're going to kill a chicken. Ile kuku itazunguka. That chicken is going to run around. Ikiangua kwa miguu yako. When it gets to your head. Inamaanisha kwamba hii udongo ni yako. It means that this land is yours. Kwa sababu watu walikuwa wakipigania hilo. Because there was a lot of people they were fighting for the land. Ili tujue ni ya nani. So that we can know whose land it is. Kuku itachinja utafanya sadaka. The chicken is going to be killed. You're going to give your offering. Tuko pamoja. Are we together? Ile kuku itazunguka. That chicken is going to kill you. Ikikufa kwa mguu wako. When it dies on your on your on your, on your feet is your land. Nilikuwa pale nilikuzijaoka. I was, I was not going to get it. Wale kuku. Ikazunguka 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 yani kichwa umekata. Ikakuja ikafia kwa miguu ya mzee. It came to my father's feet. Na wakapiga ngoma gang gang. They started wakasema hii udongo. They said this land. Ni ya huyu mzee. It's for this man. Lakini hiyo ndiyo siku la ana. Iliingia katika familia yetu. Curse. That is when the curse came into our family. Familia iliyokuwa kwa mamilioni. The family that was counting millions. Jamaa ikaanza kuenda chini pole. The family started going in low. Hawanguka kitu pa inakuwa kwa pole. Yaani jamaa ikaanza kufilisika pole 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 lower, pole lower, pole. Lower. Yaani mpaka tukakuja kuona wameweka kufuli mzee hawezi tena kulipa sababu walikuwa na wafanya kazi. Almost 150 wakasema hatuwezi waza tena kuwalipa employees so they told him tulikuwa na company ambayo ilikuwa inatengeneza bricks a company that was uh, taking care that was building wanasema tuuze ma bricks tuuzishe ma brick we have we must sell all kama tuko na mamilioni ngapi tuziuzishe and if you have how many millions we should sell tulipe wafanya kazi so we can pay the, the, the workers nikaona wakakuja kuweka kufuli kwa kampuni mzee akasema they came and they closed on him they said i can do it anyway kampuni ikafunga the company was closed mzee akapigana kama mfanyabiashara my, my, my akaingia katika sasa kujenga mabarabara then he went into building uh, streets kujenga vilalo roads kujenga hata aeroporto ya beni hata pia tulijenga to, to even build airports akienda kule wanampatia contract ya millions there, they give him contracts of millions lakini mpaka leo but till this day hizo mamilioni hazijawahi lipiwa those millions have now Kavu been paid nasema tuna reconnect deni yako We 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 accept that it's yours. Lakini hatuna uwezo wa kulipa. But we don't we can't pay you. Na wakati wanaanza kulipa when they start paying. Wakati wanafika ku dossier. When they got to the Jo wanasema government tell me let us share in the same. Tunafunga tena kulipa. Has brought another law we are closing. Nikakuja ya kwamba I can't understand that. This is the spirit of poverty. Hiyo ni spirit ya maskini. Na ile spirit ya umasikini that spirit of, of poverty, ilifunguliwa mlango it was, it, it was siku ile baba alijiconnect na ulimwengu wa rohoni when my father na my spirit of poverty na sali si connect na sali my spirit of poverty, poverty ilimpatia udongo yake na ikabeba utajiri wake and they took all his wealth na kajikuta anapigana anapigana and he's found anapigana, himself fighting and fighting anapigana. and fighting mambo vitu vyote viko pale everything is there ambavyo vinaweza kusababisha mtu awe tajiri they can make someone to be rich lakini mtu hafurahie utajiri wake somebody is not is not it feels like it's not enough nisikize vizuri upendo katika bwana listen to me ukisikia habari za ayubu ama when you, yobu when you hear the, the the news of of john of job Job. Job. Ayubu. Job. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Ayubu alikuwa tajiri. Job was wealthy. Alikuwa na kila kitu. He had everything. 
Biblia nasema alikuwa na makondoo karibu 4500 sheep. He had about 4500 sheep. Mbuzi alikuwa nazo 40000. He had 40000 goats. Mangombe alikuwa nazo kama ve mil. He had 20000 cows. Bana sema alikuwa mtajiri. But they say he was very wealthy. Lakini kulikuwa ka reunion ilifanyika kama ulimwengu wa roho. But there was a reunion that happened in the spiritual world. Listen to me carefully below the God. Kwa sababu hii because this ni key. It's a key. That will that will release you that will open for you here in America. Mimi ni mdogo. I'm I'm really small. Tunamtume hapa. But we have our apostle here. Acha ninene kutoka kwa Mungu. Ya kwamba hii ujumbe ndio itakubeba katika miezi ambayo inabaki kabla tufike mwisho wa mwezi. It's gonna guide you to the end of the of the year. Wakati Ayubu alikuwa pale kwa When Job was there rejoicing with his children everything is good the family was good they were worthy they had two cars at that time they had houses but there was a meeting that was happening in the spiritual world it was God and the devil Satan said Mungu akamwambia uliona aibu ayubu God told him did you see job Ule ni mtu wangu ananiogopa ananipenda good person he obeys me he Shetani loves me anasema, Satan said no Kama ayubu anakupenda na kuogopa Job loves you and Si ni kwa sababu ya utajiri ambao ulikuwa Because of the wealth that you gave him Pima tu kuguza utajiri wake Try to touch his wealth Utaona na kutukana You're going to see he's going to talk down on you. Lakini kwa sisi wa Afrika. But for us Africans. Wakati tulikuwa wa maskini ndio tulikuwa naomba sana. When we were poor that's when we were praying. Lakini wakati tunaanza kula na tupata masalari ya ma. Ya makasi sana dollars, 5 sana dollars. 7000, 1000. Tumesahau Mungu. We forget God. Kilicho amuliwa pale katika ulimwengu wa roho. What was decided in the spiritual world? Ni kile kilichofanyika ndani ya maisha yake. What happened in the physical life? Ayubu kwa siku moja job in one day alipoteza kila kitu he lost everything paka kapoteza na watoto wake even lost his children pendwa katika bwana beloved in christ wakati umekaa hapa when you sit here you listen ni renew gani iko nafanyika kwa sisi ya maisha yangu what's the meaning that's happening in my life kwa sababu unaweza kuwa umekaa hapa you may be sitting here the distraction when you like television huko nafuata ma news huko nafuata ma theater wacha ule tiktok wacha ule facebook wacha ule eh 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 sijue instagram zinakukulia muda lakini hauko kuna ma renew siko nafanyika now remembering that there is a meeting that's happening na katika zile ma renew those meetings kuna uamuzi ambao inatafanyika kama hautasimama kwa roho You're gonna find yourself down. The Bible says that sleep, a little bit of sleep, to sleep a little bit. Poverty is gonna come to you. Ile kusinzia nikusinzia katika maombi ile kusinzia nikusinzia na ndio kufanyia Mungu kazi katika kusinzia kwako through your sleeping utakuja kufungua macho you gonna open your eyes ni umaskini ndio imekufanya watoto wako wameenda your kids are gone sipo na tusaidie may god help us kuna ushuhuda mmoja nilisikia jana there's a there's this money i heard yesterday yangu ambaye alipoteza mke wake this is my friend my friend who lost his wife Wiki hii this week sasa jana nilipokuwa nikiuliza so when i was asking about him wakaniambia kwamba they told me that huyu dada ambaye amekufa this sister that died kifo tu ya ghafla it was a, an unusual death wakasema ya kwamba dada yake pia his sister as well wiki mbili imepita two weeks ago naye alikufa ghafla they also died and you do you think that's unexpected ni vitu vinafanyika katika kiroho. Those are things are happening in the spirit. That's why you have to clean your spiritual life. Shukulikia kiroho yako. Take care of your spiritual life. Yaani pigania roho yako. Fight for your spiritual life. Kwa sababu hapa katika ulimwengu wa roho. in the spiritual world. Kunafanyika vitu. It's a lot of things that happen. Here in America. Ukiona ikifika mwezi wa 5, ndio unaona kuna makifo nyingi. Watoto wanaingia wanaoingilia kwa shule wanawashoot. Unaona vitu vinatokea. George Floyd alikufa tu mwezi wa 5. Yaani fika mwezi wa 5 kuna vitu vinafanyika hapa Marekani vitatarishwa ndani ya ulimwengu wa roho ni there are things that are being in the spirit of situation na wafanya ni maroho is the with the spirits 
Ndiyo maana mchungaji akasema That is Mambo kuhusu umasikini about poverty ni roho ni vitu vya roho It's spiritual things Kabla niingie katika mwili nilipenda nikupatie picha I want to give you a picture ya kwamba, to show you that vitu vyote everything vinavyotendeka hapa duniani vinaanzia katika roho They start from the spirit Kule katika roho there in the spirit kuna masadaka zinatolewa There is offerings that are being given over, over you Zile mazabao zimejengwa unajua wakati 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 si John Abimelech alitaka kulaani watoto wa Israeli of Israel Balam alitaka kulaani When Balam wanted to to Alisema wamletee mazabao jenge mazabao saba Build him seven altars Kwa hiyo mazabao kutolewa sadaka On that altars offering must be given Ile ile zabi watanena maneno na yote ni watanena itafanyika kwa wana wa Israel they will, they will speak words and every word that we speak will be done uh, to the kids watu wengi leo Israel. you know a lot of people today maisha yao ilifungiwa kwa sababu their lives have been locked long time hata mimi wakati baba alipotoa hiyo sadaka you know, when 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 that gave that offering i was destined as well to be to to to, to go down with him lakini but nikamusha conscience ya maisha yangu I I I I woke up na the sasa hizi ninaweka bunduki zangu chini bado bunduki zangu zimesimama kwa sababu my, najua my, my arm, vita zingine zinatokea kule nyumbani na zinakufuata mpaka hapa there are there are there are curses that, that find you from your ancestors and they find you here kwa kwa they speak upon your life katika zile mazabau wamesema these watu wataendelea these people will never go forward that is why you hear when it, this year there's something that happens we're not in our teachings we're going to talk about next time but let me tell you fight poverty because poverty can make you even lose heaven umasikini poverty inaweza kukuacha utukane mungu can make you umasikini poverty inaweza kufanya usifurahie maisha can make you not be Nupa happy about your life nyingine zinabomboka kwa sababu ya umasikini are being destroyed because of poverty nyumbani ni kwa sababu ya pesa in homes is cause of money na tusafika marekani ni kwa sababu ya pesa au pesa au pesa utakuja kuona chanjo ni umasikini tu it's only poverty kwa sababu kukiwa abundance Because when you are kukiwa kuna utajiri when there is wealth mara nyingine sometimes shida zingine pia zinakimbia other problems they run away bwana tusaidie may god help us tusome neno la mungu let's read the word of god ndani ya kitabu ya kutoka ya mwanzo in the in genesis mwanzo 26 genesis 26 verse yake ya kwanza mpaka ya 5 1 to 5 nitaomba mchungaji ambaye ni msomaji mzuri atusomee pale genesis chapter 26 verse 1 à 5 Sasa neno la Mungu. Let's read the word of God. Kitabu cha mwanzo. Genesis. Kile kitabu kilichoandikwa na Musa. Mstari wa 26, sura ya 26, mstari wa kwanza hadi 5. Soma kwa jina la Yesu. Ikawa njaa katika nchi hiyo, bali na njaa ile ya kwanza iliyokuwa siku za Ibrahimu. Isaka akamwendea Abimeleki, mfalme wa Wafilisti huko Gerari. Bwana akamtokea akasema, usishuke kwenda Misri kaa katika nchi nitakayo kuambia kaa ugenini katika nchi hiyo nami nitakuwa pamoja nawe na kukubariki maana nitakupa wewe na uzao wako nchi hizi zote nami nitakifanya imara kiapo nilichomwapia Ibrahimu baba yako nitazidisha uzao wako kama nyota za mbinguni nami nitawapa uzao wako nchi hizi zote na katika uzao wako mataifa yote ya dunia watajibariki, watajibarikia kwa sababu Ibrahim alisikia sauti yangu akaiahifadhi aka maagizo yangu na amri zangu na hukumu zangu na sheria zangu amen amen verse 6 kasema hivi hivyo Isaka akaishi huko Gerari 
Amen. Amen. Mahali hapa tunasoma habari kuhusu we read Isaka. The word about Isaac. Na shukuru kwa sababu baba yake na Isaka. I'm thankful because the father of Isaac. Alikuwa amevunja mazabau ya umasikini. Has broken the altar of poverty. Natamani wewe mfamilia yako. I would love for you and your family. Ndio ukuje kuvunja to break generation ya poverty. The generation of poverty in your lives. Watoto unaowazaa The children you are giving birth to Ifanyike kulingana na gezi za buri 112 eh, as as no, Psalm 112 Psalm 112 Inasema watoto says, wa mwenye haki The children of the righteous they are righteous watakuwa wenye nguvu katika enzi They will be strong in the countries Nataka watoto wako hapa Marekani. Children here in America. Wao wenye nguvu. Be very powerful. Na ile nguvu and that strength ni wakati kiroho umefungua. It's, it's what uh, the spiritual world has opened. Hawa watu wenye unaona hapa Marekani wakiendelea. This is what that you see here in America. Usiwaze wanaendelea kabila nguvu zingine. Don't think they don't they don't go forward without others. Wao dunia hawezi endelea bila nguvu fulani. You can go in this world without bila any power. Bila utakuwa vile watu wa goma wanasema. Without that you going to be like how the people from Goma say. Samasa wenjo vya mubai wote vitakuwa kana fikiri. All the bad good all the bad necessity is going to follow you. Shetani, you are either with Satan ama uko kwa Mungu or you are to God ukikuwa hapa katikati when you are in the middle tutakuzika we will bury you kama uko kwa shetani kuwa deep uko if you are at the, the, at the at certain stay there kama uko kwa Mungu ingia ndani if you are for God go deep hapa katikati here in the middle shetani atakutafuta the devil will look for you atakukula he will, he will eat you tutakuwa tukishangaa tu lakini we just gonna be amazed lakini kwa sababu ukumbuka God utaenda is, is, a, is a God of grace you're gonna go to heaven utaenda mapema but you're gonna go early utatutangulia huko you will go before us sisi tutakuja baadaye we're gonna come after amen amen ni mshairi kwa biblia na nitai soma leo kabla the information is in the bible nitaenda tu haraka nimalize i'm gonna go faster and finish huyu Isaka Isaac Biblia nasema akaenda katika nchi ya ugenini ambayo ni Bible says he went, he went Gerari. he went and live in Gerar Alipofika Gerar when he, he when he arrived in Gerar Kawanja katika hiyo nchi Famine came in that country Kama hapa Marekani sasa Like saizi. here in America right now Kama wakati inflation We are in in the in the difficult moments Economy ya America kunaenda hivi chini The economy of America is going down Mafuta imepanda The oil has chakula imepanda has, has na ile salere yako ambayo unapataka haiko tena na ile nguvu kama vile mchungaji alivyotuambia sasa katika hii so kukawa inflation umasikini kawa ikaingia the kaenda chini came in and the economy na went down Gerare eh, nani Isaka alikuwa Isaac position kama yako. Was in, was in that kind of position. Alikuwa mgeni katika hiyo nchi. He was a, a visitor in that country. Foreigner. He's a foreigner in, in that country. Alikuwa mkimbizi katika hiyo nchi. He was a foreigner in the country. He was a refugee in that Huyo country. Huyo mtu akaanza kuangaika. He started going watu, back watu, and forth. Na, usa, tu, People tu, looking wapi. here and there pengine, they say where should pe, we go? Pengine nianze ku apply ni ni Canada. Should, maybe I should maybe apply to Australia. Maybe go to Australia. Maybe go to France. Watu wakaanza kuangaika. People start being agitated. Na watu wote akili zao zikawaambia twende Misri. And everybody there 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 are hard told him to go to Egypt. Isaac naka ingia mu plan. Isaac uh, uh, got into the plan. Ya kwenda Misri. To go to Egypt. Na Misri ni ulimwengu. And Egypt is the world. Wengi wameenda Misri kwa sababu ya umaskini. And people have went to Egypt because of poverty. Lakini sauti ya Mungu ikamchia. But the voice of God if he comes to you. Ikasema and say usiende Misri. Do not go to Egypt katika nchi hii stay in this country mimi mungu i god oh ninapoona mungu naona tena ulimwengu wa roho when i see god i see again the spirit of god because mungu ni roho because i say god, god is spirit mungu akasema usijali that's a don't worry utajiri yako your wealth baraka yako your blessing haitegemea na economy does not depend with what you have duniani right here on earth mimi katika ulimwengu wa roho ni spiritual world nitakubariki i will bless you na Biblia inasema baraka za Mungu God's blessings inatajirisha. They bring wealth. Kama unataka ubariki, you want to be blessed. 
Seek the spiritual world. I'm writing a book. I'm writing a book about that. Apostle opened the door for us to, to write a book. I'm going to write a book about that. My book says um, winning the spiritual battles for a physical impact. For the physical impact. That's the title of the book. If you you win in, in the spiritual world, everything I went to, the Lord told him to sit. Isaac has to obey. Yani baraka zita kupata juba lisema ka aa ili bidi the blessings are not going to come to you just because they say see you have to hear the word the, the voice of God and to obey na mungu akasema kwa sababu ya baba said because of your father ashaka vunja tayari mazabao he has already break the mpendwa lazima uvunje mazabao ya kwenu my beloved you have you must break the arteries in your family. Kama uja wai vunja mazabao ya kwenu. If you have broken the arteries in your family. Sikia yu kiswaili na sikia ni kiswaili ya Kenya. Ya kwenu kule kumilima kule. Your ancestors, your Kama ancestors. Kama ayo mazabao uja wai vunja. If you haven't broken those arteries. Iyo mazabao bado kuna jina ya kwenu. Those arteries, there is your name na on it. Na wanandelea kuonge. And they still talking. Wanandelea kuonge. They are still talking. Kwa sababu ya maisha ya. Because of your life. Isaac akaka. Isaac said. Akati. He obeyed. Lakini hakuona mujiza. But he didn't see a miracle. Hapo ndio namalizia. That's where I'm going to finish it. Verse 12. Uh, verse 12. Ya hiyo hiyo mshairi Genesis chapter 26 eh ya ile mwanzo 26 uh, verse ya 12. Acha tusome okay. uh, uh, verse ya 12 ya ya mwanzo 26 inasema Isaka akapanda mbegu katika nchi ile akapata mwaka ule vipimo mia kwa kimoja Bwana akambariki Amen Amen sema the Bible says Isaac alipokea the word from the Lord alipokea neno kutoka kwa Mungu He, re he received the word from God Mungu akamwambia nitakubariki That told him I'll bless you Acha nikuambie mpendo hapa Marekani Let me tell you my beloved here in America Mungu atakubariki God will bless you Amen ile imene ni ndogo sana. Haiko ya mtu mwanahitaji baraka. Hapa Marekani Here in America Mungu atakubariki. God will bless you. Mungu Amen. atakuinua. God will elevate you. Wenye wa Marekani wameshindwa. Wenye Americans could not do it. Wataweza. You will Amen. be able to. Wenye wa Marekani wameshindwa. Wenye Americans have failed, you wataweza. You will be successful. Hii Marekani This America hautaanguka. You will not fall. Lakini utashinda. You will be successful. Thank you. Amen. Isaac akakaa. Isaac said. Lakini But neno iliendelea kubaki ya kiroho tu. The world continue to be a spiritual world. Mpaka hiyo siku Isaac akasema mbona unachelewa? When Isaac said why you you delaying? Biblia nasema The Bible says that Isaac akapanda mbegu. Isaac planted a fruit. A seed. Na Biblia nasema And the Bible says mwaka ule ule. The same year akavuna mara mia he harvest he harvest and hundred hundred times akavuna mara mia harvest hundred times kwa sababu mungu because god akambariki blessed him hiyo siku ndio that day is the day baraka iliyokuwa ya kiroho the blessings that is spiritual ikafanyika kuwa mwili came into physical I, I, I pray your blessings to not stay spiritual that your car to manifest physically because so you are going to say amen, amen. that house of yours to manifest itself physically if you have one house that second house that third house that fifth house that sixth house to manifest physically amen because God has planned it for you lakini ili hiyo imanifest manifest itself ili umasikini kweme baamia saka told Isaac hiyo hiyo maskini ambaye limwandama that came upon Isaac aliivunja he broke it kwa kuto kwa kufanya nini by planting a seed mpendo katika bwana nisikie the seed my friend listen to me to break the, the 
the poverty record. How ivunje kwa maombi. You do not break it by by prayer. Kwa maombi. By prayer. Unapata ahadi ya Mungu. You get the promise of God. Kwa maombi. By prayer. Mungu anakufunulia atakapotenda. God reveals to you. Lakini kila ambacho utatenda. Anything that you would do. Kusudi kiji manifest. Going to be manifested. Inabidi kupanda. You must plant a seed. Na hiyo mbegu and that seed ni sadaka yako. It's your offering. Najua I know shetani, when Satan kwa sababu hapendi watu wa people to get out of poverty. Amefanya kwamba wakristo He has made that Christian wasiwaipenda never love mafundisho the, the teaching about giving. Mungu alitutafutaka miaka yote. God looks for us for years. Tangu mwanadamu alianguka kule katika since the, the, the human being, being was thrown in Eden the Lord looked for us through prophets everything he never found us and when he gave his only son that day that is when he found us he gave one son and he gave the entire world God knew that principle of giving so that he can receive and the Bible says that the imitator imitators of the Lord let's not to imitate God if you want to receive we should learn to give when you feel like you want to give you feel that heaviness those are the altars of your ancestors looking for you those ancestors altars are looking for you they say he's going to break us that's why you heard someone was I'm not going to give today to the point others there was that I gave other, other hands they know how to count this and this is five dollars this is one dollar yes. it's only one dollar that's going to come out your fingers have eyes that beloved one day he, that, he, he did a mistake and he, he gave 100 when they get, got outside. I've given $100. He went there to the, to the usher and said, is there any $100 here? They told him it's a lot of $100. It was not mine, it was not it's for somebody else. But they called for, for the servants of God and they said, God wanted to help you today. That will not, you're not going to get it back and God is going to bless you. When you, when you, when you, when you give, you, you still, you still get back. When you, when you plant your seed, you say, I'm cold. You have already, give, you're going to receive it back. The Bible says what, what you plant is what you get. And if you read in Corinthians, it says the one who gives in, in a lot, they get, they receive a lot. I, re I decided when I get in America, I said something that is called one dollar. I will never give it as offering. One time I was, I was with my wife, I told honey, I don't want, I don't want to cut in my face. We start from this, from ten dollars to up. This one dollars. I'm not. I don't want it. Because the Bible says when you give in, in a lot. Because the Bible says he blessed hundreds. One dollar multiplied by one hundred. How much is it? It's one hundred. One thousand times. One hundred is. 100. When you give 100, you are breaking the money in record. When you go from, from $10, you go to $10,000. When you give to 1000 you get to 1 million. There's somebody that's called Pastor Copeland. They live in America. This person is the first person to be known. He gives out um, 
airplanes. Wanasema mpaka saa hizi tangu alianza huduma yake. Ever since he started his ministry. Amepanda ndege 17. He has given 17 airplanes. Akihitaji ndege kubwa? When he needs a bigger plane? Anapanda ile ambayo iko na. He gives the one that he has. Akihitaji akisikia hii mbaya? When he he feels so he gives. You just get to his place. He has his own personal airport. He has more than 30, 30 airplanes. He's, he's, he's a pastor. Do you remember when the, the altar of your answer, when, they, when, they, when they're looking for you, they're going to say, there are spiritual people. You know, Satan is going to say, this God, he, he changed the devil away. This is the devil. And then Jesus said, the devil cannot change the devil. Let's go back to Africa. You can say they're American. Let's go back to Africa. When you go back to Africa, we go in Nigeria. There is, there is a servant of God I, I went to school. His name is David. This one was living in America. But one day, the one told him, go back to Africa and elevate my people. He told God, how am I going to elevate your people? That said, go there. Your breast is not in America, it's in Africa. This, this old man, he has seven airplanes, private jets, of he, his wife, his children. They are fighting with cars, they are fighting with private jets. This old man, this old man, is the father is the, the son of David Cope. He's, he's tight here in America. When they ask, where do you get your, 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 your wealth? He says, a lot of blessings that come from Africa. There is what elevated me here in America. There's only one servant of God that sends two million dollars every month. The church of that man this on Sunday. They had 500,000 people. You mean people who give two dollars, two dollars. That's already two million. And Nigerians are the first one in giving. They give a lot. So money come in. Why? The old man said the secret is one. Give. Moja ya kumi. Your tithes. Biblia nasema ni jaribu kwa njia hii. Try me in that way. Malakai, Malakai tatu kumi. Malakai three ten says. Mungu, Biblia nasema si mujaribu mungu. Biblia says don't try your God. Lakini mungu kusu sadaka nasema ni jaribu. But trust, try him through your offering. Na utaona kama sita mungu. And you will see if I will not open. Madilisha ya mbingu. Windows of heaven. Apa marekani. Here in America. Nataka ni teme under the open heaven. I want to walk under the open window. Mbingu yaku ikuwe. Apa sunarudi unasikia tena wanasema mbingu. Madilisha ya wapi. Ya mbingu. The windows of what of heaven. So if all stars in the spiritual world. Madilisha ya mbingu ike funguka. The spirit, the windows of heaven are going to open. Ndiyo de ter. Kitabu ya de tronom ventuite tatimia mbae na sema baraka hizi. Kitabu ya de tronom ventuite tatimia mbae na sema baraka hizi. Kitabu ya de tronom ventuite tatimia mbae na sema baraka hizi. Kitabu ya de tronom ventuite tatimia mbae na sema baraka hizi. These blessings will follow you. Amen. Aiko wenju tataftana na baraka. It's not you gonna look for blessings. They're gonna come looking for you. The dollar's gonna come looking for you. And Ada said. Mbona bale ba madolari jo madolari zina kutu. Those who are, who have dollars, they keep getting dollars. Wakauliza pastor. They ask pastor. Anaitua, anaitua Jesse. His name is Jesse. They asked him, old man, how do you have six, six million dollars? He said, I, they see here, I have paid people mortgage for more than 100 people. I asked the church how, many, how, much, how much did you have I paid? That is how you see me. I have my own. It's the seed and 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 seed I plant seed, I plant seed, I plant seed. There is something that you cannot. You, that's why I like Kenyans. When they say, when they say, offering time. When they say, wakati wakutoa. Watu watu wana say, blessing time. Blessing time. What everybody say, blessing time. Watu wana piga mikono kwa sababu sadaka. People clap. Wakati wasadaka umefika. Because it's offering time. But as from Central Africa, katika maziwa ya kati pale. 
Pale mumaziwa ya kati ya Afrika pale. They're in the, the middle of Africa. Lake, pale. In the Grand Lakes. Pale. Over there. Yani ikifika offering time. When it's offering time. Zile maroza kule kumilima zinaanza kumuongezea. Those spirits of the ancestors that start talking to you. They say this past the word they talking about. This person they want our money. But you know you are finishing yourself. Keep your money. Because my money is not for the pastor. I'm giving to God. I'm giving to God. In his answer, they say, bring your offering in the house of the Lord. I bring my offering in the house of the Lord. That offering. God makes it a salary to his servant and the servant get the money and he decides what, what that money is going to do but you can look and say no maybe that, that, that suit is probably, is probably one of our offerings beloved in the Christ if you say that thing in you go and repent and when you hear that voice come to me and when you hear that voice, rebuke it. Because it's not the, the spirit of God. You're offering your tithes. The Bible says when you give it, God is going to take care, take, take, take care of you. The person who comes to, to take your money. I was driving in my car. I had an accident. Beloved. This America. Your offering. They, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna defend us in on the road. The offering that you give to God. The devil can never eat it. I remember one time. I had a lot of bills, 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 bills. bills. I told my wife. I, I got upset and I said it's impossible. I give my tithes. I refuse this. Let's go talk to God. And God said, come, let's talk to him. Let us discuss. And God said, if, if it's your, if it's your, if it's your de debt, let me pay you. Okay. I said, okay. You say you would, you would get rid of all these bills are coming out of nowhere. I, I don't want it. No, we refuse it here. You need to stop it. In order to stop it, you're gonna have the right. Do we have a contract with you? God said you remember God because he's the one who makes you work so that he can you, so that he can accomplish his promise to you. Do you have a contract with him? The Bible says. A plant that's now birthed will be cut. And the one that gives is going to be expelled. Stand up on your feet and let's pray. I need you to pray. Amen. 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 I need you to pray this prayer. Stand up like somebody who's Lift your, your hands so we can pray. Say, Father God, from this day, I refuse the spirit of poverty. Any poverty that's following my life, if it's my ancestors, whether it's from America. I rebuke it katika in the yes. name of Jesus katika Christ. In the name of Jesus. Katika in the yes. name of Jesus. Kila maneno inao neno ya Any yangu. words that has been spoken upon my Naifunja. life. I rebuke it katika in yes. the name of Jesus. Katika in the yes. name of Jesus. Ngalia mikono yako hivi. Look at your hands. Sema mikono yangu. Say my hands. From today onwards, I, I, I deliver you. I deliver you in the name of Jesus. I bring back the money. I command money, I command money to come to my hands. I command checks. 
kwa mkono huu to my hands kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus kwa jina la Yesu in the name of Jesus Baba tumesema asante kwa ibada ya leo tunakuinua na kukutukuza kwa maana wewe ni mwaminifu umeleachilia neno acha neno hili kazae matunda katika roho ya watu wako roho ya umaskini tunaikataa katika jina la Yesu Kristo umasikini wa kutoka Kongo ya kutoka Burundi ya kutoka Afrika ya, ya hapa Marekani ya Cleveland ya Ohio tunaivuja katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza upenyo katika maisha yetu tunatangaza pia open heaven juu ya maisha yetu na tunaamua kujifunza kukutolea Amen. Moja yetu ya kumi Sadaka zetu za kawaida, sadaka zetu za sacrifice kwa tukufu wa jina lako. Tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Amen